She looks just like you. Well, she's grown up fast. She barely needs me anymore. Maybe that's okay. Why she was our kid. What did I say? You're unbelievable. You swore you'd never have children. When? The night we saw Breathless. I did? You said neither of us would have the time or the money for children, and we were going to run away and be artists. I remember the street corner where you said it on, too. Of course you wouldn't remember, though. That's just how you are. I was 18. I said a lot of stupid shit. Yeah, you sure did. Okay, why are you getting so angry? Because you made me feel stupid for having dreams. Okay, what exactly do you think happened back then? You know what happened. Somehow I think we remember it differently. Well, we dated for a few months, and on our last night together, you made me see Breathless. Why well, made you see it? Well, it was a terrible movie to see when you're 18. But you loved it. Yeah, it made your job so much easier. My job? It helped you to seduce me. Seduce you? Yeah, it made me believe in the possibility of a wild, romantic love. Something I was having trouble imagining after Max left my mother. You took advantage of that. Whoa, whoa. I did not take advantage. You were leaving on tour the next day. You knew what state I was in, and you still made me fall in love with you. So you're blaming me and the movie? Yes, and then you left, and I never heard from you again. So I think I have every right to be angry with you. The band got a chance to tour as opening for Moist. I wasn't going to pass that up. It could have made our career. Yeah? And how did that work out for you? You make it sound like I hid the fact that I was leaving the next day. I was very clear. In fact, I begged you to come with me. Well, you didn't mean it. You just said it to get into my pants. I mean, you knew there was no way I could leave my mom in the state she was in. Not after Max left her. I think your mother is perfectly capable of taking care of herself. She clearly still is. You know what I think? I think the thought of following your passion scared the shit out of you. And that's why you didn't come with me. And that's why you've been blaming me all these years. Well, you could have at least kept in touch. You were my first. Whoa. Really? Ow! Hey, I can't keep apologizing for who I was back then. Can you apologize for who you are today? What? You I... haven't changed. You still want what you want, and you're still careless with your words and actions. You don't care about the people who... Who what? Who care about you. Anthea? Why did you message me out of the blue last week? Because I read about Max, and I wanted to send my regards. Really? Okay. It's true. I... I was thinking about you, and I was wondering if I made a mistake. God, why is it so easy to be honest with you? Because the stakes are lower. Because I'm not your fiancé. You know, she wasn't even supposed to come. It was her last minute idea. It's like she suspected I was up to something. Well, apparently she was right. You know, it's annoying when someone knows you so well. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Howdy, my name's Dennis Ortiz and I'm based out of Los Angeles, California.